How can we generate a shape grammar that encodes a given facade layout? In this paper, we tackle this problem by introducing an approximate dynamic programming framework. We argue that the smallest grammar is usually the most desirable one. Given an input facade image, we first use a semi-automatic segmentation tool to segment it into meaningful terminal regions. The segmented facade layout is the input to our algorithm. The output is a shape grammar that encodes the input layout. Here is a visualisation of the generated grammar. Here we show an example of how a user generates an input layout using the semi-automatic facade editor. It usually takes 5 to 30 minutes to create an initial layout. The time depends on the complexity of the facade, the detail of the reconstruction and how many errors are made during the reconstruction. We propose an approximate dynamic programming formulation to tackle the smallest grammar problem for the facade layout. The algorithm splits the regions in the facade in a top-down manner, which always leads to a valid grammar. We combine several ingredients in the approximate dynamic programming algorithm. We use exhaustive search to find all repeated subregions of a layout. Exhaustive search is feasible since the input layouts are small enough. We minimise a cost function to choose splitting lines. One heuristic that helps selecting good splitting lines evaluates how many repeated regions are split and how large these repeated regions are. Please refer to our paper for more details of this algorithm. We show selected results of our algorithm by visualising splitting lines of the grammar rules. We also implemented a user-friendly interface for manually generating grammars from input layouts. The user study is conducted using this interface. Here, we show how a grammar for one selected input layout is modelled interactively. We show the usefulness of our grammar in procedural modelling. First of all, the generated grammar has to be able to compute a meaningful layout when the facade is resized. Here, we show three resizing results based on our extracted grammars. The framework can also be used to extract a single grammar from multiple input facades with similar elements. The length of the co-extracted grammar is smaller than the sum of the length of the grammars extracted independently. In future work, we would like to use the joint extraction of grammars for joint segmentation and labelling of facade models. The resulting grammar can also be edited to procedurally generate a wide variety of variations. Here, we show two example editing sessions using our interactive editing interface. One key to successful editing is that the computed grammar provides a semantically meaningful structure of the facade. As a last example, we show that our grammar can be used for large-scale modelling of urban scenes. Thank you for your attention.